Welcome to tonight's video. Sorry about last night's video being turned into a bit of a rant. Tonight's video is coverage from the Serie A match between Calorie and AC Milan. So let's get straight down to business. So, so at one point in the game, early on in the game, Milan were all over the place. Calorie nearly opened the scoring. The Milan defence was completely split open. A barbell had the shot, but it's deflected behind by last ditch defending from Rami and there was quite a bit of this from Milan in the game. There was another chance for Calorie, a barbell blades a shot over the bar. It was a very good start to the game by Calorie. They were the better side tonight and really probably felt we the felt they should have won the game and were unlucky not to do so. There was a rather tame shot by Fernando Torres. It was easily dealt with by the Calorie goalkeeper. Conte had a shot straight at Abiati, easily dealt with again. Torres dragged a shot wide as well. Calori took a deserved lead though. A barbell headed in. It was a great ball in between the two defenders. Terrific ball, perfect ball through the middle. A barbell with a great header put the ball in the back of it. Abiati should have done better though. He got nowhere near the ball at all. Comes out and gets nowhere near it. Should have done a lot better. And it was 1-0 to Calori and it was well deserved. Could have been 2-0 though. And... There was, it was nearly 2-0 when Sao was playing through. It was a very tough chance to take on the slide. He was sliding and trying to get the ball past Abiati, but it was a, an easy save for the goalkeeper in the end. Ibarbo was a constant forward in Milan's side tonight. He was running at them and causing problems, asking questions of that defence all the time. Every time he got on the ball and was running at them, the Milan defence was looking scared, and he really did make things happen. He was very impressive. Milan did get an equaliser. It was a bit of a freak equaliser. It was a great goal by Bonaventura. He's kind of 30 yards out, he's, kind of on, the, he's on the right hand side of the edge of the box, he hits it with his left foot over the top of the goalkeeper, the goalkeeper is a little bit off his line but it's a tremendous goal, tremendous shot and into the back of the net and AC Milan got a spectacular equaliser and it was 1-1. And then Mintani fired, fired a chance wide as Milan tried to take the lead in the game. Very good first half of football, like the Calgary were the better side. But Milan did manage to go in level. Second half, and there was a chance for Calori again. A bar was played through by a great ball by Conte, and it was a great block to deny him. Again, Milan did a lot of this in the game, and it stopped a bar from restoring the Sicilian club's lead in the game. Chance for Milan, Fernando Torres with a nice, a nice pass into the path of El Shawari. And his shot is deflected onto the bar, which is a, a bit of a scare there for Calori, but they managed to survive that. Searching ball through, played through by Conte, and the ball is not behind for corner. Any touch at all, any touch that's not the defensive touch at the end, and that's in the back of the net, and that's 2-1 to Calori. It was a terrific ball in by, by Conte. It flashes straight across the Milan area. And there was every chance that they could have gotten in the back of the net, but it didn't, fortunately, for Milan. Conte flashed a free kick just wide of Aviati's post. He had a free kick up there, and a barbo was taken down. Calgary should have, should have won the game. Farias was denied late on by Aviati's foot. He was played in by good work by Marco Sau. And really, he should have been picking a spot in the back of the net, but instead he hit it straight at Aviati. And Aviati made an unconvincing save of his foot, but it was a save nonetheless. And De Jong was not a million miles away from scoring the winner from Milan. There was a fierce shot from 25 yards, which could have gone into the back of the net. It would, it would flash just wide of the target. All in all, Calorie will feel that they should have won the game. They were the home side tonight, and they were the better side throughout, throughout the game. They had the, the better chances, and it was, it was due to a lot of last-ditch defending. They weren't getting more breaks, and more breaks and more goals in the game. AC Milan will probably feel... We'll probably feel happy with a point, I would, I, would, I would imagine, although obviously they all want to be doing better in, in the league this season, they're winning more more games. This was a game they easily could have lost and they'll feel that it was a good result for them to have come away with that. Have a look at some of the other fixtures. Juventus were playing against Genoa. Now at half-time that game was 0-0. It was actually Gianluigi Buffon's 500th appearance for Juventus. And the final score there was 1-0 to Genoa, so Juventus actually recorded a rare loss. In the Capital One League Cup, Manchester City lost 2-0 at home to Newcastle. So there the poor recent forms continued. 
and the goals were from the goals were from Rolando Ahrens, a player that Newcastle are very high on, and Musa Sissoko. Manchester City's problems continue. Stoke City lost 3-2 at home to Southampton. Southampton, the most informed team in English football at the moment, along with Chelsea. Nzonzi and Maron Biram Juth scored for Stoke. For Southampton, Pell, Pella scored the winner. He also scored the opener, and Shane Long scored in between that as well. So it was a good result for Southampton. And Tottenham Hotspur beat Brighton Hove Albion 2-0. It was... Eric Lamella, who I think that might be his first goal for the club, I could be wrong about that. And Harry Kane with the second one. Bayern Munich also were in action tonight. They played against Hamburg in the German Cup. That was ended 3-1 to Bayern Munich. It was a particularly spectacular goal by David Alaba from 30 yards. He's hit the shot and it's taken an incredible swerve, taken away from the goalkeeper. Definitely well worth a check out. While you're checking out great goals, be well worth checking out the goal that Give Hearts or equaliser against Hibs. It was a spectacular goal, as I said. This was 92 minutes on the clock, and he has smashed it in from 40 yards. In off the crossbar. Terrific goal. The goal scorers, it was uh, La Saga with a uh, late consolation for Hamburg. They were well beaten by Bayern Munich tonight. And Lewandowski scored for Bayern Munich. And Alaba and Ribery scored the goals for Bayern. Okay, well, that's it for this video. Just a quick roundup of the, the other games there. But the game that I've been covered tonight was uh, Calvary AC Milan. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video and there'll be more videos like this each week as well where I'll watch a game and give you uh, coverage of the other results as well. Even if I haven't personally seen the game, just give you an insight into those games. Okay, thank you for watching. As always, follow on Twitter and subscribe. Thank you.